Hello everyone and welcome to Tips Arena. Today we are going to be walking you through six steps to make over 10k a month using print on demand strategy. Without wasting any much time, the first step is to make sure that you choose a niche and target audience. To do this, you want to make sure that you use tools such as Google Keyword Planner as you can see here. If you go to your Google search and search for the key term, Google Keyword Planner, and once you click on that, you are going to be taken to a front page that looks like this, and you want to make sure that you go to Keyword Planner, and once you do that, you'll be taken to a dashboard that looks like this. With this tool, you can make your keyword research to know if the particular target audience or key term that you want to target is profitable or non-profitable. With this tool, you can see you are going to have idea on the search volume based on the key term which you have searched for and you are going to know that the key term which you want to target to create your product based on the key term is profitable or non-profitable. You can also use another tool such as Google Trend. Like if I come to Google here and search the key term Google Trend, you are going to see a tool that looks like this from the link. If you click on Google Trend, you are going to be taken to the front page that looks like this. You want to make use of this search bar that you can see here and click on explore. And once you click the search term or search the key term, you are going to see explore button example t-shirt as you can see here. And click on search and make sure that your search is where white. And once your search is where white, you are going to see an example if the key term you want to target is profitable or people are looking for it or they are interested in that key term. Once you see a graph that looks like this based on the display result, as you can see here, then of course, you are going to know that people are looking for that given key term daily, as you can see, based on the display result being shown to you, as this graph can be seen here. Now, what you want to do is to make sure that you search, you rotate this area that says past hour or past day and leave it to the past 30 days so that you are going to have an average on monthly research or search term, as you can see here. On here is very high. You can see based on daily, as you can see here, this will tell you and even the countries that people are searching for that particular key term that are interested in what you want to sell as T-shirt for this tutorial. They are going to see, you are going to see that people are interested in it. And you can see the various countries like South Africa, uh, United Kingdom, Denmark, Sri Lanka, India, and other countries. If you go to the next as you can see here, based on the following, you have 6 to 10 of 57 regions which are interested. You can see even Australia, Bangladesh, Nepal, New Zealand, and most countries will be listed to you. So you are going to have an idea of how people are searching for that key term so that if you create your product based on that particular key term or niche idea or niche term, then of course it's going to be profitable based on the search term which you have seen using the tool like Google Keyword Planner and Google Trend. The next step to make sure that you make over 10K in a month using the six step we described here is making sure that you create your design and product. To create your own design and product, in this case, we are dealing with t-shirt designs. Then, of course, you want to make sure that you make use of a tool such as Canva, canva.com. If you come to Canva from the front page, you are going to see something that looks like this from the front end. You want to make sure that you create your own design or you want to make sure that you locked in inside here or creating your own account. And once you create your account, you want to make sure that you search for the key term T-shirt here and click on search. And once you do that, you'll be displayed with a lot of templates that are based on t shirt And based on the template shown to you, you can choose any given template that suits your needs and edit it, download it, and once the download has been completed, then of course you want to move to your Printify store or whatever store you're using. As example, Printful and see how you can upload the design to the t-shirt which you have downloaded. But before you do that, you want to make sure that you remove the background of that particular design or template which you have downloaded. You can use tools such as BG Remover or Remove.bg to upload it to that platform and see how you can remove the background based on the design you have downloaded. With this site, you can upload images that you have downloaded to remove the background. Or if you have a Canva Pro, you can still remove the background based on the design and download it to insect it to the t-shirt which you have created, as you can see here, to make it ready for sale. 
the next thing you want to do or the next step you want to take is to make sure that you set up your Shopify store and link it to your print-on-demand website. You want to make sure that you go to Shopify OST and create your web, your own store. Example, let me say Shopify. As you can see here, if you, if you go to Shopify, as you can see here, and click on search, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. Shopify, you want to make sure that you create your own Shopify store here. And once you have set up your Shopify store, the next step you want to take is to make sure that you come to print on demand website such as printify.com and see how you can link and connect your Printify to your Shopify store. Of course, once your store has been connected to Printify or Printful or any POD that's print on demand website, once purchase is being made, then the packaging and delivery will be made by the print on demand website without you wasting time. The next step you want to take is to make sure that you add your product to your store and other marketplace. You must not only use Printify or your Shopify store to add your product. You can use other websites such as eBay and Amazon. If I come to Amazon Marketplace as an example here, if I come to the Amazon Marketplace, what you want to do is to create an account here on Amazon in the Marketplace and see how you can list your own product onto this website and you can also make sales and of course this is also going to be very profitable you want to make sure to register an account on amazon or you can use a site also as ebay marketplace if i go to ebay you can see ebay marketplace and click on search if i go to ebay marketplace and search this term you are going to see it like this from the search result if I click here, you are going to be taken to the front page. And inside here, if I come and search for the key term T-shirt and uh, T-shirt, you are going to see example of people here selling T-shirt. You can also use this platform to insert your own design, which you have created as a marketplace and see how you can make sales on the design you have created. You can see example of people here selling T-shirts, which they have designed on this marketplace called eBay. The same as on Amazon here, you can see if I click on T-shirt for men, if I click on this search term T-shirt for men in all department, you are going to see example of people who are here selling T-shirt just like you and me. And you can create T-shirt designs and upload them here. And you are also going to make sale on other marketplaces like Amazon and eBay. The next step is to make sure that you promote and market your store and product. To promote and market your store and product, once your marketplace is ready or your store is ready, then of course the next step is to make sure that you market this store so that a lot of people are going to be aware of the things you are doing or what design you make and what you are selling. To do this effectively, you want to make sure that you run ads on your marketplace or store. To do this, once your store has been ready, you want to use Google Ads and Facebook Ads as an example. If I come on my search browser here and search T-shirts, buy T-shirts, or I want to buy T-shirt or T-shirt for sale, as an example, T-shirt for sale and click on search term, what you are going to notice is that there are ads that will be placed in front of me. And these ads are people's uh, sponsor ads, which are being shown to me by people. You can see example, this is a sponsor ad. You can see sponsored means that Google Ads, this person having this area, is uh, this particular shop is running Google Ads on this platform. And of course, you can see cotton t-shirt for men. This particular individual has run ads here and this ads is placed to me by Google. And you can also use this strategy to run ads to place your product in front of potential buyers just like this to make a huge amount of sale. You can also use Facebook ads to run target people from Facebook or targeted a customer who are willing to buy from Facebook and you can also use YouTube to run ads on YouTube as well as create YouTube videos to see how you can upload on YouTube platform to drive traffic to your store to make huge amount of sale. Those are methods of promotion. You can use free or paid method as a strategy to send or to promote your store and send traffic to it. The paid method includes running ads such as Google ads and Facebook ads, YouTube ads, and uh, the free method includes using social media platform like 
Instagram, Facebook for free, and also YouTube by creating slideshow of the t-shirt you have made and upload on YouTube to drive traffic to your web store. The next step you want to do is to optimize and scale your store and product. The products that are performing very well, you want to make sure that you optimize it and see how you can promote more of it and run more ads on that particular product. If it is doing well, then of course a lot of people will like it. Make sure to run even more ads on that product to see how you can reach more potential buyers to make even more sales. So these are the six steps which you can use to make sure that you make up to 10K in a month using print-on-demand strategy. All of this step has also been described on this website and we have published a post. If you want to see detailly on all the steps which you can take to see how you can make money with print-on-demand 10K in a month, then of course you want to make sure to come here and explore all the various steps we have described here in detail. These are the six steps we have described to you. The first was to choose the right or to choose a niche and target audience. The second is to create your own design and product. The third is to set up your Shopify store and connect it to print on demand platform. The next was to add your product to your store and other marketplace. The next was to promote and market your store and product. And lastly is to optimize and scale your store and product. All of these steps have been well explained inside of this website and all the various tools you need to use as well as the step to implement has been described well inside of this particular post we have created. I'm going to put the link of this website below this video description so that you can explore, you can go to this website and explore all the various steps you need to take to make over 10K in a month step by step. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe and also enable the notification bell icon so as to be the very first to receive new post notifications and updates whenever we publish a new video or tutorial. And see you again in our next episode. Bye-bye.